By the spring of Doug Heron's senior year of high school, the Bartlett runner was a multi-state champion bound for the University of Arizona. Today in his early 40s, Heron reviews the day he became a legend. The 800-meter prelims of the 1985 state track and field championships. We had talked about uh, going out, out for the first time. Had never done that in a race. And so a lot of anticipation, a lot of anxiety going into that event. Uh, didn't sleep a lot. Starting in lane seven, Heron's plan is fulfilled early on. He quickly accelerates to the front. Can he maintain that pace all the way around? All right, slow down a second lap. The idea is to go through the first lap, just go through as, as fast and as reasonable as possible. Typically, you come through a high school race, you know, usually runners will come through about 58 seconds. I came through just about 52.8, 52.6. I mean, it's just exciting to know that, okay, this is, my, this is my chance to go all out, see what happens. Well above record pace, Heron kicks into overdrive and begins chasing his own state mark of 1 minute 54.7 seconds. And we knew that the result would be good, we just didn't know how good. Dad provides the color commentary. We were thinking, okay, 151, 152. Come on, guys! Fantastic! Like Secretariat in the Belmont Stakes, no one else is even in frame. 149.2. It was the best in the country for 1985. I can still kind of remember, you know, my teammates running up and saying what I'd run, and I, and I still didn't really quite grasp it. But it didn't really hit me until later that day, and then early the next morning, where... It, you know, phone calls are coming in and people are saying, you know, you ran the number one time in the U.S. It was kind of fun. Nearly a quarter of a century later, Heron's time remains four seconds lower than the next fastest 800 meters ever run at the Alaska State Meet. Still get chills watching that. It was kind of fun. It was one of those, you know, you just never get to do that very often. Just, you know, totally go for it like that. I brought two of my biggest fans up here tonight. Uh, this is my boy, Spencer and Cameron. Uh, my biggest fan, probably, uh, aside from you guys, of course, is my mom. Uh, I don't think she ever missed a race. It didn't matter if it was raining, uh, snowing. Uh, every, every race, she was always there. And... Uh, My teammates and, and friends as well, um, they always wanted to see me run faster. Uh, it was crazy. I don't know. They should have been into their own races, but they were into watching me run faster. And I want to thank the, the Hall of Fame uh, for, and, and also the committee for selecting my moment. It's, it's a big deal to my family. It's a big deal to me. So thanks again.